Okay, so I just finished watching the season finale of The Boys, season four, and I was like, I got to get in front of the camera. I have to talk about this. I was debating whether or not I wanted to talk about this show. I was debating whether or not I even wanted to finish this show, to be honest with you. So uh, my thoughts on this season was really up and down. Like It was just kind of like going back and forth, and there was a point around episode four, excuse me while I open up my can of of water here my can of what's it called it carbonated water carbonated water that's what the hell it's called that's what's it called guys um so yeah around episode four i kind of dropped off from the series i i kind of i i had enough of it you know the the thing is i've always been watching this show since the very beginning and i love the overall plot of the show of you know, Butcher trying to get revenge on Homelander for what he did to his wife and all this stuff. And it was really that part of, you know, especially the stuff that happened with Huey and, and his girlfriend in the very first episode of season one. You're going along with this journey. And midway through episode or you know, season four here, around episode three, I kind of like just felt like just the show lost this narrative really didn't know what they were doing. They were just kind of doing shock value just to shock value. Now, I haven't read the comic, so I don't know how the comic is. I'm just looking at this as a viewer. And I remember my wife constantly saw me watching, like, season two and season three. She's like, how do you watch this? You know, like, every time I turn it on, like, every time I come across, the, you know, in the room or whatever, it, there's always some kind of crap on the screen, either gore or, or something nasty. So she was sitting on the couch and we were watching, I think, episode three or episode four. I can't remember which episode it was. And she was kind of getting into the, the plot of the things, you know, what they were trying to do. And then they get to this part where this guy multiplies himself and they go into a sauna and he's like eating his own ass. And she looked at me and there was nothing I could do to defend that. Nothing I can do. Right. She was already on the fence about it. Right. I keep telling her, I'm like, no, the story is really good. You just got to got to watch and get into the plot. And then she finally sits down for an episode and th this pops up. And I had no defense for that. And it was at that point where I was like, I don't know if I can watch this show anymore. Not only because of that scene, because it was so unnecessary. That scene was so unnecessary. It did nothing to move the plot forward. It was just shock value for the fact of shock value. They did it just because they're the boys and they're over the top and they can do it. And you, and there was no defending that. And between that and what they were doing with Frenchie's character, like out of nowhere, this dude has got gay, right? This guy is gay out of nowhere. He's got this thing for this Colin guy out of nowhere. Right. And people are like, oh, they hinted at in previous seasons that he might be bisexual. Look, I didn't catch that. So if they hinted it, it had to be very, very subtle. But it just felt like out of nowhere. Like it was it was like like uh, I, I can't even. It was literally out of nowhere, the, the whole Frenchie thing. And it just it just completely bothers me. Hold on. I'm looking up something here. I'm looking up something here. So. But it felt like it was completely out of nowhere, and it just absolutely bothered me how it just felt like they lost the plot. That that was all I was thinking. Like like they lost the plot. They're adding shock shock value just to add shock value, and there was the the narrative got lost somewhere. And me, I've been trying to convince my wife for years now to watch this show. She finally sits down, and then this pops up. And I'm I, at this point, I'm like, I just don't know if I want to continue watching this show. Like, they got this for the, for just the sake of doing it. Then, out of nowhere, Frenchie's gay. Like, like it, 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 it was clear to me from the very first season that uh, Kamiko was the girl he was interested in. And, and they were just kind of losing it. So for the longest time, I just stopped watching it. And then the season finale premiered, I believe, last week or something like that. And I was like, okay, I think I should at least give it another shot. I should definitely give this another shot. So that's what I started doing. Um, friends of mine, some fell off, some continued on. 
Um, a lot of people that fell off kind of feel the same way I do. Like, oh my God, this show just kind of lost the narrative. It's getting a little too grotesque, a little over the top in some areas. But nonetheless, you know, there wasn't really a whole lot to watch. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. So I ended up finishing it up. And I kind of want to, and I, I literally just finished the season finale 10 minutes ago. Literally 10 minutes ago, five minutes before I started filming. So I'm five minutes into this video. I literally finished watching the season finale 10 minutes ago. I like the way the show corrected itself toward the middle and the end of the thing. The Frenchy thing that I had a problem with. And, and don't start writing the comments. Oh, you're just mad because they made Frenchy gay. I don't care. If it was hinted at some point in the season or in the previous season, and, and it was actually like something I knew was happening, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But it was so clear he was into this one chick, Kamiko, or Kam whatever her name is pronounced. Like she, he was into her. And then out of nowhere, he just sucking dick. You know, like he, he, he was in the herd and then out of nowhere, just sucking dick. So it has nothing to do with him being gay, just out of nowhere. Why? And people make jokes. Oh, they did it for pride month because it was never touched on again after that. Once he turned himself in and he had the little fight with his boyfriend, that was it. Because by the end, him and Kamiko are a thing. Finally, what we waited four seasons for, they gave us. They're a thing. Their romance, you know, it, it actually turns into something. So I like that because once they were like kind of making him gay, they're like, oh, no, he only likes her as a big brother. No, he wanted to bone her in every other season, guys. So I'm glad that after Pride Month disappeared, they're like, no, we're going to get back to Frenchie the way he's supposed to be. And he wants to be with her. She wants to be with him. It was clear from the very beginning. And they did that. The butcher thing was very intriguing to find out that Jeffrey D. Morgan was in his head in his entire time because it, it was very confusing in the first couple episodes where he just meets Jeffrey D. Morgan on a bench. And I'm like, who is this guy? Like he acts like he known this guy for years. I've never seen this guy in the other season. They never mentioned him. Why is he not communicating with any of the other boys? And then come episode five or six, when it's to reveal like, Oh no, he's in his head. The same thing with Becca. I was like, Oh, that, that was awesome. I like that. Jeffrey D. Morgan, phenomenal actor. So to find out that he was in his head, i like, okay, that was awesome. That was a nice little twist I did not see coming. The whole thing with the shapeshifter and Starlight, I, I liked all that. That was great. The, the, we, we got to see some Starlight booty crack. That was cool because God knows we're seeing all kinds of male parts in this show. So the, the, you actually see, you know, Starlight's ass. I mean, hey, I'll take what I can get because you're showing everything else from the dude's point of view. But, like, give us a little bit of women butt cheeks. You know, hey, do something. Um, but, yeah, I really liked how the story progressed. And I really liked Sage's character. Sage's character was my favorite character. Um, not, not my favorite character. She's one of my favorite characters. I thought she was definitely a highlight of the season and she kind of kept everything interesting. The, the show really took some twists and turns this season. And every time you think Butcher's going to talk into Ryan's head, like, look, man, you need to do this. You need to do this. They do this stupid thing where Ryan's like, no, he's my dad. You're trying to do that. I'm like, man, just fucking kill Ryan. Just kill Ryan. One of the biggest things I want to point out, I almost forgot was how they made me completely turn on A-Train. Like, this was a guy you start off the series hating. The whole series starts with this guy and what he did to Huey's girlfriend. And from that point forward, you are like, I want to see this motherfucker dead. And how they completely, by, by midway, into season four, how they completely make you care about this person and actually root for A Train. A Train, I think, has the best character development. I never thought I would say that. Never thought I would say that. But A Train has the best character development throughout the entire series. I can't think of one other character who had the best character development. Think about it. Huey, he's pretty much the same Huey we met before. Just a little stronger, can deal with blood a little bit more. Starlight, 
pretty much the same character. Mother Milk, Frenchie, Butcher, they're all pretty much still the same characters we met back in season one. A-Train is a completely different character than the character we met in season one. And I just, you can't argue that. Nobody can argue that. A-Train had the best character development than anyone in the season. Every other character, for the most part, is status quo. You know, sure, Huey even said in the season finale, you know, there was a time I used to, like, scream over blood, but now it doesn't even bother me. Yeah, they toughened up a little bit, but for the most part, they're all pretty much the same character. Homelander's still a dick, Butcher's still an asshole, and the boys are still trying to stop... Um, um, Vought, you know, it's still the same thing for the most part, but A Train had a lot of, lot of character development. Um, I guess you could say the Deep kind of because he killed his octopus girlfriend. That's just a joke. I hate the Deep. Just get rid of the Deep. And and the new uh, Black Noir, not a big fan of him either. I've always been a fan of MM Mother's Milk, and I think he did a lot of really good stuff this season. He had a nice character arc, like he had a nice arc within this season for sure and you know i'm glad he got his family back and all that but he still ha he's in a fight so there's really a lot of stuff going on in this season and that that's once you get over the unnecessary stupid stuff that they like to do in this show with male parts and stuff and you get down to the essence of what this show is the the season ended on such a great note where they're basically rounding up these starlighters, these human starlighters, and they're putting them in concentration camps, you know, and, and with the assassination or the arrest of the president and all this stuff, and then Homelander basically being a proxy president, or there there is a president, but, you know, there's like a proxy, like Homelander is sort of like the guy now. Because the real president has no power. Really, he's just the puppet for Homelander. And now they're like rounding everybody up in concentration camps. Um, it was very, very interesting on how things ended. I'm glad they announced season five is the end. I think when shows continue to get put on season after season after season, they start to lose the lust of, not the lust, but maybe is the lust? Sure, but they, they start to lose what made those shows great. Like you look at something like, like Cobra Kai. I think Cobra Kai should have ended two seasons ago. You know, you look at something like Walking Dead, it just kept going and going. It's still going. You know, a lot of these shows, they should have a, a, a clear cut spot of where they wanted to end, regardless of the popularity. If it's super popular, end the show, come up with another show, but make sure you have a clear cut way you want to end the series. And I'm glad that next season is the last season because we've been building up to this whole thing. We got to stop Homelander. We got to stop him. What's Butcher's, you know, thing is Butcher going to die with the cancer and the tumor. He looked pretty good. in the last part of that, like, I almost thought he was a shapeshifter. I honestly did at, at the very end when, when he came in and killed Victoria Newman, which I loved Victoria Newman. Okay. I, I liked the way she looked. Okay. I liked the way I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. I, I thought she was fine. I, I, I don't want her to go, but they killed her. I really wanted to see her for next season. Cowboy. I want that eye candy. Cause God knows there's not a lot of eye candy for males in this show. Get all the ass and dick you want, but man, if you're a good-looking chick, we don't get to see much of you. They killed Maeve. Now they killed um, Victoria. So uh, I, I do like Firecracker, but she annoys the hell out of me. I just think she looks kind of good-looking, you know, but she annoyed the hell out of me. But um, and I wish she would too. I don't I don't like her that all that much. But where was I going with this? I want to see a clear-cut ending and i'm glad that they're ending with season five because we got to get back to the the priority and like i said i thought butcher was the shape changer at the end I, even though the shapeshifter died i was like this dude was literally like minutes away from dying from a tumor in the in the hospital or whatever and then he comes up looking just fine kills victoria takes the serum and he just disappears and i'm like what what did i miss uh, obviously he injected himself with with Gen V or whatever the hell he injected himself with. But still, I, for a second there, I had like, uh, I don't even know if that's him or not. But I don't know. I thought I thought the series was, it was very weird looking series this year. Like I thought like the first four episodes was not good. 
I did not like the shock value just for the sake of shock value. Tell the story that you're telling. Tell the story that you're telling. Stop having this stupid, ridiculous stuff of guys blowing themselves, guys eating their own ass, doing all, like, it's stupid. Stop. Stop. It's one thing to have, like, shock value if it fits the main story. That had nothing to do with the story at all. So stop that. But I felt like there was enough good in this series, whether we're talking about the character development of A-Train, whether we're talking about Butcher dealing with his mortality and, and you know, the ghost in his head, Mother's Milk wanting to be with his family, Frenchie finally hooking up with the girl that he loved, Kamiko, her backstory and why she doesn't talk. And then you're dealing with Huey's death and his father and, and Starlight. And there was so much deep, narrative that it overshadowed the bs that was in the beginning of this season and i think it ended out phenomenal phenomenal can't wait for the final season and i'm um, very looking forward to it so long story short if you're still sticking with me I love this season. I thought it was a fantastic season once you got rid of all the bs in the beginning i think i think personally it ended out just phenomenally, and I can't wait for the next season. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. If you're still sticking with me at this point, then that means you must like me. And if you like me, please hit the like button. Thank you guys so much. Till next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms. Now go enjoy Deadpool, you crazy son of a bitches.